ex-president of Brazil sentenced to nearly 10 years in prison for corruption. Rio de Janeiro The former president of Brazil, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, was found guilty of corruption and money laundering on Wednesday and sentenced to nearly 10 years in prison, a stunning setback for a politician who has wielded enormous influence across Latin America for decades. The case against Mr. D.A. Silva, who raised Brazil's profile on the world stage as president from 2003 to 2010, stemmed from charges that he and his wife illegally received about $1. One million in improvements and expenses from a construction company for a beachfront apartment. In exchange, prosecutors said, the company was able to obtain lucrative contracts from Petrobras, the state-controlled oil giant. Plagued by scandals, Mr. D. A. Silva's leftist workers party lost the presidency last year when the Senate impeached his hand-picked successor, Dilma Rousseff in a power struggle that consumed the nation. Mr. D. A. Silva, 71, can appeal the conviction, but the ruling could deliver a crippling blow to his plans for a political comeback. He has called the allegations against him a farce and has announced his intention to run for president in next year's election. He had been widely considered a leading contender. But Judge Sergio Moro, who issued Wednesday's verdict, said that under Brazilian law, Mr. D. A. Silva would be ineligible to run for office for twice as long as his sentence, or 19 years. Unless Mr. D. A. Silva prevails on appeal, that finding leaves the Workers' Party without an obvious candidate in next year's vote. The conviction is the latest salvo by Brazil's judicial branch which has declared war on the country's entrenched culture of corruption. Brazil's current president, Michel Temer, was charged last month with corruption, part of a near-constant stream of allegations and charges that have ripped through the nation's political establishment in recent years. Judge Morrow who oversees cases stemming from a broad graft scandal surrounding the state-controlled oil company, said Mr. D. A. Silva's actions were part of a scheme of systemic corruption in Petrobras. The President of the Republic has enormous responsibilities, Judge Moore wrote. As such, his culpability is also enormous when he commits crimes, he added. Mr. D. A. Silva presided over a period of robust economic growth in Brazil and remains a widely popular figure, credited with leading a social transformation that lifted millions from poverty in a nation with one of the world's biggest disparities between rich and poor. Despite the corruption allegations against him and his party, Mr. D. A. Silva has been leading in recent public opinion polls on the election. Mr. Morrow, the judge who convicted him, is often cited as Mr. D. A. Silva's closest rival in hypothetical matchups in the presidential race, though Mr. Morrow has ruled out running for office. In the verdict, Mr. Morrow said that the former president had sought to intimidate the court, which the judge argued could be grounds for ordering his immediate arrest. Yet, Mr. Morrow wrote, he deemed it prudent to allow Mr. D. A. Silva to remain free pending an appeal. Sending a former president to jail would be a traumatic event, he wrote. While Mr. D. A. Silva's conviction involves relatively modest sums, especially compared with the staggering scale of some corruption cases in Brazil, prosecutors have described him as the mastermind of an enormous kickback scheme that enabled his party to buy support in Congress. The case against him began with a probe into money laundering at a gas station. But as prosecutors continued digging, they said they discovered billions of dollars worth of bribes involving pet robberies and powerful contractors like Autobricht, 
a large construction company with deep ties across the hemisphere. The case which became known as the Lava Jato, or Car Wash, scandal has ensnared other powerful politicians and put dozens of lawmakers under a cloud of suspicion. Eduardo Cunha, the former Speaker of the House, was sentenced in March to 15 years in jail for money laundering and corruption uncovered during the Petrobras investigation. And Mr. Timur, the current president, is working furiously to avoid being put on trial, hoping to convince lawmakers not to send the charges against him to the Supreme Court, the only venue where senior sitting politicians can be prosecuted. The investigations have left Brazilians with few prominent politicians untainted by allegations of corruption. Wary politicians, meanwhile, have been considering passing an amnesty law to shield themselves, arguing that such protection is warranted to avert a collapse of the political system. <laughs>